Now, speaking of exporting to PDFs and exporting to Google Docs, you can actually bring those into Miro as well. So for example, if I have a Google Doc link, I can literally just control paste that, uh, authorize that to access my Google Drive. And there you go. So here's my Google Doc in here. Now with this selected, uh, you can cycle through. So here's page one of eight, two of eight, three of eight, four of eight. You can also go through here and say, you know what? I want to extract pages out of this. So for example, maybe pages one through three, I want available so I can go ahead and say extract. And then here's all the extracted pages. So from that Google document that I have, you know, here's my Google document uh, with multiple pages. I've got this Google document that's been extracted uh, to multiple pages here. So there's page three, page two, page one. You can go through here. You can download these, you know, put these wherever you want to on your board, treat them like anything else. You can go in here, you can read them natively, right in Miro, no problem. Uh, so that way people don't have to go through and click uh, to find it. Of course, if you want to go through and read the Google Doc as opposed to going through Miro and reading it, you can click them and then say go to source and that will open up the Google Doc uh, page here. The exact same thing with PDFs. If you have a PDF link, you can just copy paste it. And again, I'm just I'm bringing in slides from a presentation. And again, I can click through these slides uh, natively in Miro. And again, this is this is actually a pretty heavy slide deck. It's 128 slides, but you can see I can go through here and just click through these slides. And just like with a Google Doc, I can go through here and I can extract slide pages out of here. So that way it's like, hey, you want to go to the source? Click it. Say go to source. It'll open up uh, the PDF. As well as you have the individual slides if you need them for your Miro board. Now, uh, we've gone over a lot of Miro functionality. There's a lot more functionality on here. Um, you know, for example, we talked a little bit about text. Here's the text box, you know, and you can have a text box. Well, here's a shape that you're allowed to add text to. And you can also just put, you can nest text inside of here. So I go to the text option, start typing, or I can copy text from somewhere else and just paint it, paste it in here. Uh, we go ahead and make this smaller. We want it to fit. We can drag this text box in here uh, if you want to. You can select it all. You can make it a bullet point list. Again, you can you know control I to italicize, control B to bold, move your text where you need to, fit it within there. Shift select, add this to your presentation here. And again, we have objects here, so we can go, you know what, just give me the text objects. I can go ahead and make changes to uh, just the text. We can go in here and double click this. We'll go ahead and make this like so. And we did link together uh, some of these. We were going through here and adding links. You can also do that really quickly with mind mapping. So you see there's a mind mapping button here. You can just click in here, hit enter, enter again, enter. And like I said, you can just very quickly uh, start mind mapping uh, what you want. And then off of these, you can go ahead and start dividing this one up. You can go through your line, you can change the colors, you can link, uh, just like we've been doing before. Uh, but this is just a way to, you know, again, very quickly go through and mind map your ideas. Uh, when we were linking these, uh, you can go in here, you can do a line link, and you can, you know, link together these things without, with just a line. However, all that really is is just a line with no arrows. If you want to go in here and add arrows, you can certainly do that to the beginning or the end, or just one or the other. Now there's another option in here, there's a, there's a big arrow, uh, so if you want to point two objects to each other, you can point this object here to this object here, and then uh, as you move this around, that arrow will follow. And you see it gets really big, so this is a, this is a big pointing arrow. And uh, just like most things in Miro, you can go ahead and click this arrow, and you can you know at least change the color of it. Uh, if you also, if, <laughs> this is a really this is a cool thing. You can go in here and you do have a pin. So you can go through here and you can just kind of write and draw. Um, I've got a tablet here, so I can draw like this. Uh, there's also a really cool option in here. There's a smart drawing. So if I click this and I'm like, okay, I want to make a quick diagram, but I don't feel like going and grabbing uh, shapes. I can literally just go through here and draw a square and it'll make it in. Well, maybe I can draw a better square than that. There we go. I'm going to make it into a square. I can say, you know what, go over here and uh, attach it to a circle and then go down here and attach it to a triangle. And then if we go back to our selection here, you can literally just select these shapes and that's all they are. You can go through here and you can say, you know, let's make this green, opacity drop down, and now you've got uh, a real shape based on uh, your kind of crappy drawings. 
Uh, and then again, you can link these however you'd like. Again, if you like these, the format of these, you can hold down Control Alt C and then Control Alt V, and that'll go ahead and paste uh, that formatting here. So really quickly, you can go through. And if you like the formatting of this shape, Control Alt C, Control Alt V, or if you like this formatting, select this one, Control Alt C and Control Alt V. And then now it's got that formatting. We'll go ahead and point this to the middle. So as I drag this around, you can go ahead and uh, it'll update those arrows around the object. So a little bit more flexibility there. Uh, in here, there's also a highlighter mode. So if you want to go through here, you know, and really quickly, you know, draw something or highlight something, it just adds it as a shape that you can then select and, you know, move and rotate. Uh, I think we're getting towards the end. There's, you know, you can drop emojis in here. No problem. You can upload stuff from all sorts of sources. Uh, you can mean dragging and dropping is also, and copy pasting links is also super easy. Uh, you can add tables in here. So just go through here, add a table. Tables are actually really robust. And when you drop it on the first thing, it'll walk you through like how to use things, which is nice. So definitely do that. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm certainly no uh, expert. I'm just kind of showing you some functionality, but if you want to go through here and you know get some text, make it bold, make it bigger, center it, if you want to put some stickies in here, you know, let's go ahead and ungroup. And if I drop a bunch of things in here, when I drag and drop, you're going to see it's going to make the uh, make the table gray. And if you push on here, it'll actually auto resize for you. So as you're adding more stuff, it'll go ahead and resize you resize to fit these. So if I drag that out of here, I can go ahead and say, you know what, let's reformat these like so. And then as I drag and drop again, it'll go ahead and auto resize. Uh, this table for me. You can again at the top you can see use control to turn off that uh, functionality. Uh, feel free to do that. But and then we can go through here and we can move this out a little bit. We can add more rows in here. Just click plus. There's more rows. You can have row options. So if you want to merge all these, you can go through here, and merge these all together. Basically any table functionality you have is pretty much uh, uh, right here in Miro. Surprisingly robust. And like I said before, you can go to those three dots here. There's more apps you can use. These are stickies capture. You want to take a picture of a sticky board and then import it for, uh, you know, to make it digital. That's in there. Charts and Kanban and get more apps in here. A lot of really cool stuff. But anyway, that's my quick overview of Miro functionality. And of course, the big thing is uh, collaboration, going in here and inviting people to your team, having them all come in on the board. They can all, you can all work together. And again, like I said, you'll see uh, all of your, all of their cursors going all over. In fact, if you click on their name, you can, or you click on your name, you can say, Hey, bring everyone to me. And that will, you know, wherever they are on your board, they'll, it'll snap their view right to where you are. So you can actually go through here and again, collaborate, have your meeting agenda all set up, go over here, have your chat going, have video, people's video over here. So you can all get in here and, uh, collaborate together and communicate effectively, synchronously and asynchronously uh, and have it organized. I mean, better organized than this. Uh, <laughs> this is a mess. Uh, but, you know, again, go over here to the templates and see how the pros do it. And uh, I think you'll find, uh, you know, much better examples of how to get people engaged and collaborating and organized. Oh, and there's one thing I forgot to mention. If you want to title your board, just click on here where it says untitled and go through here and give it a name. And uh, of course, you can also give it a description. And uh, you can also go through here. If you click on this square, you can go through here and you can go through and select an image. But you can also say select preview area. And you can zoom in, move this around. And if there's anything that really tells what this board is all about, you can go ahead and select that area and say done. It'll generate a preview for you. And then when you go back to Miro, You'll see you have a nice preview image straight from your board that everybody else will see when they uh, come to your board there.